This lesson is about factoring trinomials by splitting the middle term. Here is an example. Factor 11x minus 10 plus 6x squared. In the first step, you need to rewrite the given trinomial in decreasing powers of x. Of course, if the given trinomial is already in decreasing powers of x, simply copy down the trinomial. However, our trinomial is not in decreasing powers of x. So let's rewrite it as 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. In the next step, and we'll do this part on the side, we need two numbers whose product is the product of the leading coefficient and the constant term, 6 times negative 10, which is negative 60. And at the same time, the sum of these two numbers has to be the coefficient of your middle term, 11. So what are these numbers we are looking for? Hmm. Once again, we need two numbers whose product is the product of the leading coefficient and the constant term, 6 times negative 10, and whose sum is the coefficient of the middle term, 11. Well, certainly if you multiply 6 and negative 10, we would get negative 60. But would the sum of these two numbers give me 11? Hmm. If I add 6 and negative 10, I don't get 11, I get negative 4. So we need to find two other numbers whose product is negative 60 and whose sum is 11. Hmm. How about 5 times negative 12? 5 times negative 12 certainly gives me negative 60. But if I add 5 and negative 12, I don't get 11. I get negative 7. So those don't work. So you can see a little bit of trial and error is at work here. However, to keep our thoughts organized, let's factor these two numbers, 6 and negative 10, into their prime factors. And let's pull out that negative sign out in front. Negative, instead of 6, 2 times 3, and instead of 10, 2 times 5. So, 6 and negative 10 did not work. Negative 12 and 5 did not work. Note also that since your sum is positive, among the two numbers that we are looking for, the larger number has to be positive. Okay, let's see. What about 15 and negative 4. Will that work? Certainly the product of 15 and negative 4, this whole product, 15 times negative 4 gives us negative 60, so that's fine. What happens when you add 15 and negative 4? That does give us 11, so bingo, that worked. 15 and negative 4 are the numbers we are looking for. The product of these two numbers is negative 60. The sum of these two numbers is gives me 11. We're going to use these two numbers to split up the middle term of my trinomial. So next step, 6x squared plus, instead of 11x, we will write 15x minus 4x minus 10. In the next step, we're going to group together the first two terms, group together the last two terms. Within parentheses, 6x squared plus 15x, that's my first group, and now my second group, plus negative 4x minus 10. Next step, 
you factor each group. In this group, 3x is the common factor, common to both terms. Let's factor that out. 3x times the quantity 2x plus 5. In here, negative 2 is the common factor. So let's factor that out. Negative 2 times the quantity 2x plus 5. Note that between both groups, 2x plus 5 is common. So in the next step, we're going to factor this out. Two x plus five times. Now from the first group, you already took out two x plus five as a factor. What remains as a factor? Three x. Put that down. From the second group, you took out two x plus five as a factor. What remains as a factor is minus two. And there you are. There's your answer, but it doesn't hurt to check. If you have time, you should always check. If you multiply this out and you don't get your original problem, your original trinomial, then you've made a mistake somewhere. Let's go ahead and foil it. Product of first two terms, 6x squared. Product of outer terms, negative 4x. Product of inner terms, plus 15x. Product of last terms, minus 10. Simplify. So combine these two like terms and we get 6x squared plus 11x minus 10, which is what this part is, and that is equivalent to my original problem. So this indeed is the correct answer.